Hello learners and welcome to today's lesson of Geometry of 2D Shapes Parallelograms. Let's start off our lesson with an interesting fact. So did you know that a square, a rhombus and a rectangle are all special parallelograms? Yes, the properties of a parallelogram are also the properties of all these three quadrilaterals. This lesson will discuss the similarities and differences between a square, a rhombus, a rectangle and a parallelogram. So let's look at the lesson objectives. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to write clear definitions of parallelograms in terms of their sides and angles and distinguish between the different quadrilaterals, namely the parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and a square. Looking at the concept map for today's lesson, so our focus is on those parallelograms. That is a rectangle, a square, then we are going to compare a rectangle and a parallelogram, and also a square and a rhombus. For this lesson, you must be able to identify the properties of a parallelogram and a rhombus in terms of their sides, angles, and diagonals. So let's look at some practice where we are going to name the properties of a particular quadrilateral. So what are the properties of a parallelogram? Now, as we can see in the diagram, a parallelogram has opposite sides that are equal. So it's two pairs of opposite sides that are equal because we have AB, which is equals to, sorry, that are parallel. So we have AB, which is parallel to DC. And of course, we have AD, and that is a parallel to BC. So that is one property there, that they are, there are two pairs of sides that are parallel. And of course, there are two pairs of sides, two pairs of opposite sides that are equal. So firstly, the two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Now we have the two pairs of opposite sides that are equal, and that is AB being equal to DC as shown, and we also have AD which is equals to DC. Or AD, sorry, which is equals to BC. What about the opposite angles? Now, because this is a parallelogram, we know that the opposite angles are equal. So this is angle A, and it is equals to angle C. Then, of course, we have angle D, which is equals to angle B. So those are the sides and those are the angles. And when it comes to the diagonals, then we know that DB is a diagonal. So yes, DB is a diagonal as well as AC. And if we remember our properties, the diagonals of a parallelogram, they bisect each other. So if the point where they intersect, let's say it is point M, the point where they intersect, that is the point where they bisect each other. So this could simply mean that, or this means that DM is equals to MB, and it also means that AM is equals to MC, because those diagonals bisect each other. So when we are summing up the properties of a parallelogram, we know that the opposite sides are parallel, the opposite sides are equal, the opposite angles are equal, and of course, the diagonals bisect each other. Let's move on to a rhombus. And if you remember, a rhombus is a special parallelogram. This means that all the properties that we just discussed about a parallelogram also apply to a rhombus. But now, what makes a rhombus a special kind of parallelogram? Now, because we already know that the opposite sides are um, parallel and the opposite sides are equal. But with a rhombus, all of the sides are equal. So that means that KL is equals to LM, that is equals to MN, and that is equals to NK. What about the diagonals? Yes, we already know that the diagonals bisect each other. But what makes these diagonals special is that one, 
they bisect each other at 90 degrees. So they are perpendicular to each other. And in addition to that is that they go and they bisect the opposite angles. So that means that the diagonal KM has now bisected angle K there and also has now bisected angle M. And the same goes for NL, that one, that diagonal has bisected angle N and that diagonal has bisected angle L. So in summary, the properties of a rhombus, the opposite sides are parallel, all of the sides are equal, the opposite angles are equal, the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees, and of course, the diagonals bisect the opposite angle, angles, sorry. So that is, or those are all the properties of a rhombus. Let's look at the keywords that we are going to be working with w during this lesson. So we are going to look at similar. Now similar is having the same shape in appearance or properties, but not the same size. What about a rectangle? A rectangle is a parallelogram with all, <clears throat> excuse me, a rectangle is a parallelogram with all angles equal to 90 degrees each. The diagonals are also equal. What about a square? We are going to be looking at a square and that is a parallelogram with all the angles equals to 90 degrees each and the diagonals are equal and all the sides are equal as well. So those are the keywords that we are going to be looking at in today's lesson. Let's quickly go to an ad break and then we'll see you just now.